When people say the word overrated, there is a negative connotation surrounding it. I mean, it's kind of obvious through the word itself, but I feel like the word overrated is a bit too negative to illustrate an opinion. I feel like people need to clarify what they mean when they say it. For example, I consider your name to be a good anime film. It's a pretty charming and quirky film that I enjoyed, but it's not a masterpiece as everyone says it is. I feel like Summer Wars is better, but I think it's mostly because being in a huge family hits more to my home than being transported into the body of a woman. I still like the film, I think it's good, just not as great as everyone says it is. Saying that it's overrated feels like I am absolutely hating on this film, which I'm not, and that's why I clarified it. So when I found out that the director of Your Name has a new film called Weathering With You playing on the theaters right now in Indonesia, I am excited. And by the way, to my Indonesian viewers, it's not on Cinema 21. I watched it on CGV. So thank you, my little brother, for letting me know that this film is out. So what do I think of it? Welcome to Abaman's Uncapped, a series of reviews by yours truly. Today's review is gonna be on Weathering With You, the new anime film from Makoto Shinkai, the director of of your name. But before you go to this review, YouTube will demonetize me because I don't know, they'll find a reason. So thank you all for supporting this channel. You can do so by checking the links down below. Weathering With You is about a young boy named Hodaka who ran away from his home all the way to Tokyo, which is in constant rain for a while. Hodaka meets up with a girl named Hina who has the ability to control the weather and makes it sunny again, temporarily. Together, they decided to make a business involving making the weather sunny for those who absolutely needed it. But with great power comes great responsibility and Hina's power certainly has consequences. What kind of consequences and how are the characters going to deal with it? I want to dive in a little further into why I personally feel that your name isn't as great as everyone says it is. Initially, I don't remember why. It's been a while since I saw the film. So maybe after watching this film from the same director, I might remember why I liked your name again, just not as much as everyone else. And after seeing this film, I remembered. To put it in a nutshell, your name is a beautifully animated, beautifully sound, and overall beautifully presented film with an okay story. It's definitely an emotionally provoking story, but it's really nothing groundbreaking if you think about it. In fact, if you think about it too much, you might uncover a lot of plot holes in it. But you can't think about it too much because the film looks gorgeous, sounds gorgeous, and presented really well. So that's okay, I guess. Weathering With You basically leaves me with the exact same impression. The strength of this film is definitely the overall presentation. The film looks absolutely absolutely gorgeous. Well, about as gorgeous as constant rain goes, but even when it's raining, there's a very clear sense of atmosphere and dread that the film manages to capture very well. The characters themselves are a bit generic in the design, with the exception of that guy who looks like Josuke, but at least they're nicely animated, and of course the soundtrack and the sound design really add into the film's atmosphere a lot. But it's not just the visual and the audio presentation, it's also the story presentation as well. This is a film that that managed to convey so much by saying and doing so little. What you can learn about this film, and your name for that matter, is how to show don't tell. You can learn a lot about the characters from the things that they say or do, even if they're pretty small. It's how you present them that truly matters, and this film does it really well. That being said, I do feel that there are a couple of moments where the characters just straight up tell you what happens, and in my opinion, it would be more effective if they don't, because the story already shows them very well. I suppose it's being made for those who didn't pay attention in the theaters. But all of that marvelous presentation comes with a huge caveat, and that is the story. It's not bad or anything, it's just not new. It's really nothing special or unique. I've seen this story many times before. Your name is at least somewhat unique. It is a combination of Freaky Friday and Steinscape, but at least it feels different, and I do want to see what happens next. At least it has a few surprises. This film, on the other hand, it really doesn't have a lot of surprises, and I've seen this story before, and it makes it so utterly predictable. I can tell where the plot of this one is heading, and the ending is to say the least, rather weak and unfulfilling. But hey, at least the characters are memorable and charming, 
Actually, no, the characters are really bland, which is also my issue with your name, come to think of it. The main character is just your generic dark-haired anime boy protagonist with no unique characteristics, just like your name. The girl who has special powers is your generic dark-haired cheerful anime girl protagonist with no unique characteristics, just like your name. The side characters are stereotypical at best, and some of them have their own dedicated plot points that unnecessarily pads out the film, just like your name. In fact, I think that's the best summary that I can give to this film. It's your name again with an equally stellar presentation, but a story that isn't as good. By the way, this film has some serious product placements everywhere. The characters use either an iPhone or a MacBook, even when they're poor, which is bizarre. There's a scene where the main character eats in actual McDonald's, as opposed to the bootleg ones that you see in a lot of animes these days. There are also Honda vehicles and a Seiko logo, and the main character uses Yahoo! who answers to ask legitimate questions on the internet because either he or the writer is a boomer. No, I'm not kidding. The more real life products that I see on this film, the more I feel like this film is a generic corporate product rather than an animation being made with genuine passion. And I don't want to say that to this film because this film isn't bad. It's just okay. The animation work is still stunning, it's presented very well at least, and you can absolutely take notes in the show don't tell methods that this film does, but it doesn't have enough substance to go on, and the story just ends in a rather weak note that makes me go, really? That's it? If you like your name, you might like this one, and without spoiling too much, there are actual fan service materials for those who saw your name. But if you don't like your name, you probably won't like this one. 